going on YouTube? Gabriel said, aka The Truth, checking in. And as you can see in the title, I'm gonna be taking you through my back and biceps workout, which we blasted out in 45 minutes. So if you do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you share it. And we had to get this workout done in such a short space of time, because me and Dan have been filming all day for our other channel, and we literally had such a short space of time to get this done. So this was a 45 minute back and bicep blast. So we started off with a lat pull down because I wanted a pulling movement and it was either lat pull downs or pull ups. Lat pull downs I can adjust the weight, pull ups I need to put the belt on and then strap the weight in and it's like, it's time consuming. So in and out we just went with a lat pull down and yeah started with a couple warm up sets, gradually increasing the weight, I ended up stacking it and got a good you know 10, 12 reps out of it and did that for four sets before then going into a drop set. Now this drop set was horrible. You know that thing where you like, you say something and then you regret it straight away. My boy Dan was like, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna be doing like a drop set, like two or three drops, right? Nah, five. <laughs> Then after that, we moved on to the T-bar row, which is the machine that they got in Yorkies is pretty good. It's also got a close grip one, so I wanted like a, a wide pull down movement, but I also wanted a close rowing movement, if you get what I mean. So this one had really narrow grips, which was a little bit awkward in terms of like stance, because you have to put yourself a little bit more forward and that type of thing. But I think I, I went a bit too heavy on the first one, so I only got eight, so I scaled it back a little bit. Don't be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to scale it back if you need to, because it's not all the time that you're just gonna keep, be able to keep hammering weight, hammering weight. Sometimes you just need to take a rain check and say, were, the, were those reps good? Would Louis Marco tell, tell you that your reps are loyal? Or were they, or were they cheating on you? Because if they're cheating on you, you need to scale it back and you need to do it properly. Take care of them, you know what I'm saying? Take care of them. So after that, I wanted like a upper back movement. So it was either gonna be the chest supported row, rear delt row, upper back row, or the reverse pec deck. We went with the reverse pec deck, again, just because it's easier, not lugging dumbbells around, so it's, you know, plate loading or whatever, so just put the pins in, it's so much easier, so much quicker to just get a quick workout done that way. So we did, four sets of 10 to 12 on this one. Moderate weight, with this exercise, you're not looking at overloading so much. You need to be able to do it properly and get the full contraction of um, the muscles in your upper back, otherwise it's kind of pointless. It's a bit like going like stupidly heavy on flies and you, your, only, your range of motion is like here, pointless. So um, yeah, so that's what we did for back. Then we moved on to the biceps. Majority of it was cable stuff, so we started off with the normal bar, so with your palms facing towards you to hit the short head of the muscle, short head of the bicep. Again, this was for three sets of 10 to 12. I think I mainly hit 12 reps, but really hitting that short head. Of, oh, still, still sore now. Right there. Straight after that, we went into um, rope hammer curls. So that's now working the long head of the muscle. Now, the reason I started with the working the short head is because the short head is probably my, my personal weakest area in terms of my bicep. My long head, I've been doing hammers from day. So my long head is very developed. 
and I'm not so happy with the peak. So to work the peak, I do a lot more of the stuff where my palms are facing towards me. So remember, palms facing towards you, peak, palms kind of facing towards each other, long head. Got it? Cool. So then, yeah, the rope hammers, again, it was for like, uh, I think it was three sets of 10 to 12 again. And then we moved on to finally spider curls. Now this one is one of my favorites. You've probably seen me doing a couple of my other videos. Uh, spider curls where your chest is against the, the bench and it eliminates your front delts. You don't want to be doing this like your Timon from Flipping Lion King. Wow! If you're hungry for a hunk of fat and juicy meat. <laughs> but with your chest supported, all the squeeze on the bicep. All the squeeze on the biceps, such a good exercise for that short head, the, the peak of the bicep. And that's, that's pretty much it. That again was for like three sets of 10. And that was it. Rest periods, it was kind of like, because I was training with Dan, it was like, you go, I go, you go, I go, you go, I go. So it was literally not more than a minute or just over a minute kind of thing so the intensity was quite high and we got that we banged out that session real quick nice and effective we felt good afterwards not so good during oh you're so untired someone, someone want to rest Fucking dying. you want a lollipop <laughs> 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 we felt good afterwards and uh, yeah, it was a good session. So I'm going to put the full workout in the description box. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you like this type of video specifically in terms of, you know, me talking and they're showing you the footage as I'm talking or whether you like the high edited kind of stuff where there's not much talking. Let me know, let me know, let me know. And if you want to see more videos, just click above. If you haven't subscribed already, the subscribe button's right there. Follow me on socials, but until next time, be true, lift big, and stay swole. Peace.